A common mistake of students of fluid mechanics is to apply Bernoulli's equation inside a boundary layer. This is absolutely forbidden, and there are two ways of understanding why, both of them equivalent. Thinking back to chapter 2, we derive Bernoulli's equation by equating pressure forces with inertial forces. In a boundary layer, however, viscous forces dominate, and these were not included in our derivation of Bernoulli's equation. So, inside a boundary layer, viscous forces dominate, and Bernoulli's equation is invalid, because it doesn't take viscous forces into account. An equivalent way of looking at this is that Bernoulli's equation is an equation for the conservation of mechanical energy, and inside a boundary layer, you have viscous dissipation of mechanical energy, so it's not conserved, and therefore Bernoulli's equation is invalid. Outside a boundary layer, however, in the free stream, by definition viscous forces are negligible, and Bernoulli's equation is valid. In Chapter 2, when we derived Bernoulli's equation, we also derived an equation relating the pressure gradient across a boundary layer with the centripetal acceleration, and therefore the curvature of streamlines. And this equation is valid inside a boundary layer, which we can show through the following argument. We consider a small control volume inside the boundary layer, which I shall draw in larger form just there. And now let's consider the forces in the vertical direction on this control volume. I'll start by defining a coordinate system, x, y. On the bottom face, the pressure is P. On the top face, the pressure is P plus partial dP by dy times delta y. And the shear stresses are tau on the left hand face and tau plus partial d tau by dx times delta x. In the analysis in chapter 2 we didn't have this shear force, we just had a balance between the pressure and the curvature of the streamlines. But now we use the fact that in a boundary layer the shear stress does not change much in the x direction so this term is small. This means, therefore, that the net shear stress in the y direction is small. And in the case of the boundary layer, we also note that the streamline curvature is very small, and therefore we can see that dp by dy is also small. And this brings us to an important conclusion, which is that the pressure on the surface is the same as the pressure at the edge of the boundary layer. So this pressure, p, is also equal to this pressure, p. And this leads us to a result that we will use in the next sections, which is that partial dp dx in the free stream equals partial dp by dx in the boundary layer.